This is a little video how to and how to get your ebooks onto the e-reader. Now, don't forget before we went to the Overdrive website and we chose a book and we downloaded it to our cart. Um, so now we're going to retrieve it. So we want to make sure our wireless uh, is connected. And up in the corner here, right now it's saying off. So we want to turn the wireless on. So we're going to go to the settings menu, which is on the second page. And you'll see it'll say settings. So we're going to tap on that. And second from the top it says wireless network settings. So we're going to touch that. And um, you're going to see it says Wi-Fi turn on. Now see this box is empty. That means the Wi-Fi isn't turned on. So we're going to want to turn that on. So we're going to like click on that. And we're going to turn on the Wi-Fi. Now you'll see at the top here it's turning on. It's actually saying it's changing. It's saying turning on. So it's going to connect. And it says connecting. Which is good. It's, that's what we want. Now our settings here are connected to Net Spectrum Hotspot. So that's the wireless here. At home you might have Bell. You might have something different. And it'll say different something different. So we're connected. And you'll see it's changing. It'll say connected to Net Spectrum Hotspot and now we're connected. This went from off and now it's on. So we're going to go back to the home page. So we're going to click on home and uh, we're going to go to the second page. Now you'll see at the top it says public library and this is where we want to retrieve our books. So when I click on public library now it's going to go to the OverDrive website but before we can get there we're going to have to log in. So I'm going to pause now and I'm going to log in and then I'll uh, get us started. So now I've made sure we're connected. So I'm going to hit on Public Library. And that's going to launch us um, to the OverDrive website. You can see it's a Sony Search, OverDrive, etc. Now it's going to bring you to a few places. Now you'll see East Ferris is already here. I've set it up for you. Now you won't have to type in... Uh, do you remember with OverDrive we had to type in the uh, East Ferris Public Library and hit Search? But with here we don't have to. It's already here. East Ferris Public Library. So we're going to click on that. And it's loading. There we go. So now it loads to the other screen. Now you'll see at the top here it says East Ferris Public Library, Ontario, Canada. That's the one we want. Now you're going to see it's pretty similar to what we saw before. Um, this is just a mobile application version of the original. So we're still going to have to log in. So we're going to hit log in. And you'll see there's going to be a spot. Access to the site is limited to library patrons only. To sign in, please select your library from the list below. So we're going to tap on that. There we are. So we are East Ferris Public Library. So I'm going to tap on that. Now you'll remember this is very similar to what we saw before. My cart lending periods, my items out, my holds wish list. So the part we want, we've already checked out the title if you remember from the website we went in and we downloaded the mystery novel and my items out, download titles you've checked out. They've already checked out so we're gonna hit my items out And it's starting to download. So you see at the top it's going to give you a little status. It's going to say download and then download complete. Now at this point we want to log out. So we're going to tap on log out. We've logged out now. Now, so we're going to go have a look and see um, where our book is. So we're going to hit the home button, and there's our new book, Baltimore Blues. So to access it, we just want to tap on the book, and there we go. So if we want to delete this book, it automatically checks itself in. Um, in seven days, but we're going to want to delete it from our e-reader. So what we want to do is to delete this book after we're done reading it, or if we just didn't like it, we're going to click on books, 
it gives us a list of all the books we have on our device. Now there's a little button down here, it looks like a little list. I'm going to click on that and then hit delete books. A little checkbox comes up. We'll just click on that and then hit done. Gives you a confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete the selected items? Yep, for sure. There we go. Now it's good to delete items that you don't want anymore because it frees up space on your e-reader for more e-books.